It's been only uh, three safeties since 1991 drafted top five. And this guy, by all signs, pointing to the fact that we're going to get our fourth such safety. He is from LSU, Jamal Adams, here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Jamal? I'm doing well. How are you guys? I am doing fine. Um, where, what are you hearing about your draft status prior to tomorrow right now? Uh, honestly, man, uh, I'm hearing just, you know, very, you know, I'm, I'm going to be up for quick, but at the same time, I'm just soaking it all in, uh, just sitting back and waiting for my name to be called. Who would you visit? Which teams came you, brought you in for a visit? Uh, the Jets, Jaguars, San Fran, um, Chicago came down and seen me um, in Carolina. So pretty much those are all top 10 teams. Uh, what are you telling these teams that you can bring to the equation that uh, is not seen on film? Uh, really, you know, just my leadership qualities, you know, to where I can come in and, you know, I can change the culture. Um, you know, I can definitely just, you know, be myself um, as well as, you know, just play ball at the same time. And um, just, you know, a guy that's going to come in and, you know, earn the respect of his teammates and, and the staff. Um, and, you know, just give it my all. You know, that's all I can do um, just to, you know, to help change the organization if it's low. Um, and if not, if the organization is already where it needs to be, um, to can continue to strive for greatness. Well, I mean, you're not going to – it does not appear at all that you're going to last till the Arizona Cardinals are on the clock. And is, is it okay for an LSU defensive back to not play for the Arizona Cardinals at the next level? <laughs> I checked on that. I really feel like it just happens for a reason, man. Um, Tyron – you know, he got placed in a great position with, you know, Pat Peak. Um and you know, I don't, he hasn't looked back on it since. And um, you know, it's a great it's a great organization, uh, well coached. Um, but you know, I think, you know, LSU backs are, you know, likely to, you know, become a become a Arizona Cardinal. Um, but at the same time, I'm just I'm just sitting back. I'm a fan of all thirty two teams. I'm sure you are. What do those guys though tell you about the next level when you talk to them? Uh, really, that you know, it's just all about business. Uh, you know, it's mainly it's mainly a business. Uh, you gotta you gotta grow up. You gotta mature um, if you haven't. And um, you know, you just gotta know that you know this is your job now. So you need to take it serious um, to where uh, you just never know uh, what what outcome can throw you be thrown at you, be thrown at you um, and what adversity. Uh, so really, you just gotta you know become a man and you know uh, you know strive to you know be the best at what you do. Jamal Adams from LSU joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. How difficult was it uh, to have the guy who recruited you get fired in the middle of what appeared to be your final season there at LSU? What was that like? Uh, it was tough, you know, seeing Coach Miles, uh, you know, leave. And, and, you know, it was tough on the team, you know, during the season. Um, you know, it was a lot of adversity. Um, and, you know, we definitely had a bounce, bounce back from it. So, you know, I know a lot of the guys called a, a meeting. Um, and, you know, we stood up and, you know, a lot of the leaders, you know, they just said, you know, we got to keep this thing going, uh, stay stay strong for Coach Miles. And um, we, we knew that, you know, Coach O coming in was going to be a great a great thing for us. Um, you know, we played we played hard for Coach O. Uh, we finished out strong uh, versus Louisville. And I think that, you know, it, it, it speaks volumes on the team. Um, it speaks volumes on LSU um, as a whole. Um, you know, how much, you know, adversity we went through it. Uh, how we bounce back from it. So um, I think, you know, the future the future is really near for us. Uh, I think that we're going to get back on top very soon. Which receiver or tight end that's available in this year's draft was, for you, the most challenging to cover at uh, at LSU? Uh, well, I, I would just say that, you know, the best tight ends was at LSU. Um, I would say that, you know, those guys, you know, gave me the most problems, uh, you know, in practice. Um, as well as the receivers. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, um, the best is, is definitely an LSU. Oh, gosh. There is no I in Jamal or Adams. I just noticed that. Okay. That's a good team answer right there, Jamal. I like it. Not even O.J. Howard. You know, in Alabama, you might be a top 10 guy just like you. Yeah, O.J. is a great, great football player um, as well as a great person. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, it was definitely, you know, a great, great competition uh, when we played against each other. Um, but at the end of the day, okay. uh, you know, they, they got the W. Um, so I definitely don't like to talk about that game. Oh. <laughs> then I'll move on. How, how excited are, 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 your, um, are your folks to get, uh, you know, your dad being in the National Football League, now you, 
um, a second generation of Adams. What is yeah, that I'm sense saying, like? I'm very fortunate uh, to have two, two great parents. Um, you know, my mom, she definitely, I give her the credit for bringing me off the field and my father gets it on. Uh, but, you know, it's an exciting time for my family and I, um, as well as for LSU. Uh, we're just really sitting back and just enjoying and soaking it all in. Um, it's going to be an exciting night. It's going to be an exciting night for us tomorrow. Now, is it? Is it true? Because I've been reading up on you, just like all the other prospects for my job uh, uh, this weekend. That that Bill Parcells is part of the safety net, if you will, of the uh, of the Adams family. That uh, on occasion you and Parcells have chatted about the next level. Yeah, most definitely. He's definitely like uh, almost like a mentor for me. Um, he was my father's coach, as everybody knows, and um, you know he mainly just you know just again just says you know stay stay true to myself and. Um, you know, continue to do what I'm doing, um, working hard and just staying out of trouble and um, just doing the right things, doing the little things. And, um, you know, the future will be bright for me. So, you know, he's definitely pulling for me. Um, he's definitely a supporter. and um, I can't appreciate him enough for it. What is the strangest question you got asked in the interview and uh, combine process? It really wasn't any strange questions. Uh, you know, a lot of guys have a lot of stories. I, I didn't get asked any strange questions. Um, just a lot of repetitive questions, um, but nothing strange. Um, you know, I, it, it wasn't okay. it wasn't anything that caught my attention. Um, so I, I really didn't have anything. Okay, so then I guess this is a strange question. Do you have any dandruff problems, Jamal? I do not have dandruff At all? problems, uh, but I do have gray okay. hair um, that I'm working with, head and shoulders. I'm very very excited to work with those those guys. Um, <laughs> but you know, I definitely feel like you know using their product. Uh, for the draft tomorrow, I'm definitely going to have my hair on fleek. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's been a while since I had my hair on fleek, to be very honest with you, Jamal. But, uh, you know, uh, if you want to send some of that, uh, the Rich Eisen show away, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, most definitely, man. There I'm definitely going to get you a bottle or two um, sent you away uh, because okay. you definitely have to use our right. product. Okay, thank you, Jamal. Well, congrats in advance, <laughs> and I will see you uh, very shortly at the next level. I appreciate it. Take thank care. you for your time. You got it. Thanks. You got it. There's Jamal Adams. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.